me you're a waste man bro the, the acting skills are disgusting huh mate listen it was it was world class bro but i'm not happy with what you're doing bro you're just you're moving all types of mad bro you don't like the girl just tell her you're yeah. but at the same time you're playing the role well bro you're playing the role well <laughs> bro listen i don't know what you're doing but the new girls coming in tomorrow should definitely show you something i want to see if you're good enough to get one of them look you don't want kaz bro all that all that stuff he was doing at the, in the in, in the rooftop bit of the of the of the villa bro bro you're not deceiving me bro uh, turn around turn around toby so you can kiss me bro are you sick are you all right bro the fact the fact even when you kissed her bro i could i can see the, the disgust in your face bro your, your acting skills toby listen boys round of applause for toby <laughs> you're a waste man bro the rachel 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 this is what happens when you sell yourself a dream you buy the dream and then that dream slaps you back in the face hard i told you the donny from northumberland didn't want you you kept forcing yourself on him you're doing too much and the nominations for scumbag of the year 2021 we have brad in his, in his portrayal of i love black girls jake in his portrayal of I'm gonna use her forever. And Toby in his portrayal of I don't really want this girl, but I think I can win this show. Tragic, tragic. Bruce, we are la ah. Welcome back to the channel, mate. Big show, big topic. All the guys are getting exposed today. Now, side note, quickly, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you are new. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything dropping on the Meister Method YouTube channel. Now, where was Chloe? She did not feature at all. Has she gone home on the sly? I do not know. She didn't feature. Hugo was irrelevant. But now let's get to the main part. <sighs> Rachel, Flip, Pinnell. Day two, yeah? Crying already. I can see, you're 29, remember? I can see why you're single. You're bougie and you feel entitled. You feel that Brad owes you something for you brainwashing yourself in thinking that the guy likes you. I told you guys yesterday, this guy doesn't want her. She got gassed. He said everything that he was supposed to say. He whispered sweet nothings in her ear. The girl bought a dream. He lips her at night time, got the guts watery. And look at her the next day. She's trying to... Do you know what's crazy? Brad's so sick. He dropped friends. Once he dropped friends in that first conversation by the kitchen, I said, nah, this guy's... This guy's... He's mad. He's moving sideways. And then... And have you clocked, guys? Boys and girls, children of all ages. Whenever Brad says something of value, have you clocked that Rachel will take it and then rehash what brad says to make it look as if she mate the girl's crazy bro oh mate she's she's in for a reality shock tomorrow <laughs> you brought in two girls that are brad and jake's type mate she's automatically at risk automatically i don't really have anything more to say she caused it on herself should have had the safer bet would have been my donny chugs but no you went for brad the poster boy Brad does what he does. He survives. I'm telling you, this guy's Catwoman in disguise. That ain't crazy. All right, Brad. Listen, bro, mate. You are, you are. I think the luckiest guy I've ever seen on this show so far, bro. You've, you've, you've indirectly given yourself, I say, an additional two weeks, bro. I think you're gonna get one of the new I think you're gonna get one of the new girls, hundred percent bro. And on the top of that, the boys have got the power this week. So you're definitely trading Rachel away and all of a sudden Rachel's going home. Brad, listen. You're gonna get a lot of stick today. But the realities are you basically said, Look, 
I want to be friends. I want to see how things go. Thank you, but no thank you. I'm happy you saved me, but I'm not that happy that I'm I'm willing to jeopardize my, my stay. I can't win with you, Rachel. And I know that. And I can't win anyway. But I'm happy that you find me attractive. And I'm happy that you saved me. Mate, the guy is... Oh, my. He's a, he's a problem. He is a problem. That brings me on to the next scumbag. Jake, Flair Pernell, what are you doing, bro? Listen, it, at this point that I'm watching you, bro, I'm just like, you, you are the definition of a scumbag, bro. I like, I, I, I coach, I coach dating, but I don't, I don't coach cheating, bro. And what you're doing is horrible, bro. But now, you've, you've, you've apparently told Liberty that, that you're. You're open to, to dating other girls. And clearly tomorrow, I want to see what you're all about, bro. Because obviously, Libby is going to be in for a reality shock, bro. <laughs> reality. But why are you massaging her, bro? Why are you, why are you doing all that stuff in the hideaway and then telling her what you should have told her one week ago? Mate, you're horrible, mate. Horrible. This is why girls go mad. Now, Liberty, young lady, this is what happens when you do too much. Bro. You, you gave away your heart. Day one, you was in love. I said it. Reaction one, I said it. He was in love. And you know that you have a bad habit for falling hard with guys. Keep them at distance and don't let these guys sell you dreams. Jake doesn't want you and look at you. You're out of commission. Because as soon as you see that Donny with another girl tomorrow, you're 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 gonna your head's gonna be gone. You're gonna be frazzled. Brings me on to Toby. <laughs> Bro, listen. I don't know what you're doing, but the new girls coming in tomorrow should definitely show you something. I want to see if you're good enough to get one of them. Look, you don't want Kaz, bro. All that, all that stuff he was doing at the, in the in, in the rooftop bit of the of the of the villa, bro. Bro, you're not deceiving me, bro. I turn around, turn around, Toby, so you can kiss me, bro. Are you sick? Are you alright, bro? The fact. The fa even when you kissed her, bro, I could I can see the, the disgust in your face, bro. Your, your acting skills, Toby. Listen, boys, round of applause for Toby. <laughs> You're a waste, man. The, the acting skills are disgusting. Huh? Mate, listen, it was it was world class, bro. But I'm not happy with what you're doing, bro. You're just you're moving all types of mad, bro. You don't like the girl. Just tell her. You're yeah. But at the same time, you're playing the role well, bro. You're playing the role well. <laughs> oh my. Oh my God. Aaron. Bro, Aaron, I think you're doing too much, bro. Already talking about the future. When we get out of the villa, bro, are you, are you all right? But now, actually, boys, this is a good learning point. A female and this is the first sign that I've seen a bit of masculinity from Aaron, actually. Look, don't get me wrong. I don't like the fact that he's he's trying to to forecast what's going to happen with them in, in the future when they get out of the villa. But the realities are, Aaron knows that he is not at the financial level that Sharon's at. And what do we know? When a man doesn't earn as much as a woman or above... The woman will only stay with him for a certain amount of time before it becomes odd. Because a woman's meant to exercise her best option. Yeah? Women are engineered to highlight weaknesses in men. And Aaron knows this. He says, look, bro, she's used to dating doctors and parliament men. I can't compete with that. And rightly so, and I, I give him I give him props for acknowledging that. However, bro, you're doing too much, bro. Mate, we've been in here a week. You, you're, look, you're looking at marriage and four kids, bro. That's so feminine. <laughs> oh, mate, sort it out. Sharon, a bit quiet from you today. Again, I haven't really got much to say on you, Sharon. Keep doing what you're doing. Aaron's clearly looking, but what did Hugo say to you? Oh, I can't wait. Hugo, Hugo's crying again, Mr. Hammond. Alpha male crying. <laughs> Mate, join the club with Rachel, bro. Rachel's seeking all types of validation from, from Brad. 
No, I just, I just, I just needed some validation. I just, I just, I just needed some reassurance, bro. Listen, this guys, if you don't know what Rachel is, I think I'm gonna summarize her for you, bro. She is a 29 year old bougie girl who, with makeup on, looks decent. Without makeup on, mm, not so great. And it's looking worse as I'm going along. I'm just saying, no shade, it's all love. I'm just saying. The girl is highly insecure. And when she talks, she almost talks with a bit of vim. Hmm? But the reality is, oh, it's, all, it's all show. She needs validation. She needs attention. She needs reassurance because she's not as great as we think she is hmm? <sighs> man fey wicked west the wicked witch of the west is <laughs> the wicked witch of the west is back she's back guys she's back hey you know what i kind of like you being a villain fey i prefer it listen brad didn't do it for you this new boy liam is dead bro he's giving me um, who's the mixed race guy that we had last season that was also from Wales? Mate, what's wrong with these Welsh Donnies, bro? Give me a Welsh guy that can actually do something. No homo. These guys are all tall man, and just dead, bro. He, he's, Liam's... He's done nothing. Flat guy. Flat. Hasn't done anything. He can't talk. He doesn't get involved. I'm just irrelevant. Like, trade him out, actually. Like, what's he doing on the show? I feel a bit sorry for Faye. She's... she's She's tried with this guy. She clearly likes Liam. The age difference is there, but he's flat. And maybe he's even worse than Brad. And I think that's what she's she's coming to re recollection of. Yeah. yeah, Liam, listen, bro. I'm, I'm tired, bro. I've, I've seen enough of you for a lifetime, mate. You're not, you're not doing anything for me anymore, bro. I don't think he was doing anything for me when they brought you in, bro. I'll be honest, no homo. Mate, show me something. Bro, do you know what? At this point, we Hugo literally featured just in background clips today. Chloe, we didn't see at all. Guys, if you saw Chloe, please let me know. I didn't see her today on the screen. If you're not gonna do anything, Liam, bro, go home, yeah? What are you there for? Just let me know. Guys, that brings us to the end of the video. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Let me know what your thoughts are. Has Rachel made the wrong decision? Should Chugs have been saved? I'll see you in tomorrow's episode because definitely tomorrow's going to be popping. But yeah, let me know who wins the Scumbag Award of the year for this season because we got three guys in there and they're acting perfectly. <laughs> chat, check, chat, check. Keep learning, keep growing, keep learning up. See you in the next one. Peace.